Hello, I've just completed the final stage of my bubble assembly. Um, I've got everything working pretty good and I just wanted to show everybody how he looks. Um, pretty much got a lot of almost everything completed on him. Uh, I still got to put his pants on him and build his arms. Uh, right now he's just got uh, empty holes <laughs> and um, Got a nice power pack there that uh, I put together uh, by a vendor from the B9 Builders uh, Club. Um, Bill K put this kit together and it's supposed to be exactly like the original one um, if I put it together properly. That looks pretty nice actually. I had to do some painting and some glue in and some sanding and stuff and um, pretty much came together. Uh, got his uh, ears on his uh, sonar ears I guess his radar ears and the radar goes back and forth bubble goes up and down you can see the finger lights in there uh, that dance up and down I chose to tint his eyes blue you'll see blue eyes I kind of like it. it gives a little contrast plus it it's not too far off from the LEDs that are inside and then of course the crown is just a beautiful work of art by the guys who put this bubble and all these parts together uh, so I would like to uh, show you now how he works uh, it's all controlled by the easy B robot controller board I have one up in the uh, brain up here I don't know if you can see it up in there uh, it's blinking blue on and off uh, you probably can't see it and then I have another one down here inside the collar. You can see the, the blue pulsing. And I have a lot of other stuff jammed in there too that you can't see right now because it's all hidden. Um, so what I want to do is try to connect them now to the EZB software that resides on my laptop and it all hooks up with Bluetooth. Let's start up the, the program and the initiation, the initiation get script will come up and hopefully he'll connect and start working properly okay see the ears going bubble radar swinging active. and he's active excellent okay um, like I said there are uh, I'm going to show you just a few things he can do Right here, um, we'll turn the ears on, or the sensors, and they're powered, and they spin. Pretty cool. They're just uh, curved pieces of metal that attaches to a little micro motor that hello. runs. Hello. <laughs> that runs in there. And... Uh, it looks pretty neat actually. Robot, stop. Let's see if that works. No, I guess not. I am going to have to shut it off. Well, it did stop. And then um, the crown motor up on top that runs the crown and all the all the uh, lights bouncing up and down. You'll see those dancing inside there. I have a little, few little bugs to work out. They hang up. I had to get inside and do a little bit of adjusting, but uh, for the most part, it looks pretty nice in there. Now, hopefully it'll stop. Robot, stop! i take a second. There, okay. It's all voice activated. Good afternoon, robot. Hello! Robot, do you know where you are? Excellent. All right. Robot, what do you want to do? I know. Let us watch an episode or two of Lost in Space. Okay, maybe later. Robot, who are you? Robot, who are you? Robot, what are you? Robot, where do you come from? Oh, he's being stubborn. Robot, where do you come from? Okay, well, 
I got to remember what I wrote down. If I don't have it to say it exactly the way I wrote down, he won't answer. He's uh, pretty picky about that. But um, I just would like to show you. Okay, well, he uh, he talks sometimes when he's not supposed to also. I'd like to kind of show you what he does. Um, robot, start animation. And again, that's all operated uh, through three Easy B robot control boards. One up in the brain that uh, handles um, lights. Will Robinson is not present, and my sensors detect no danger. Be quiet, Ninny. Okay, fine. No, he'll shut up, but he'll keep working, hopefully. Uh, bubble up and down. Ears spinning. And the radar's rocking back and forth. Um, there's a, another easy B board down here that controls all the rotation. You see the flashing lights down there. So he's a kind of an awesome creature. Pay attention, my good friend. Active. Okay. Robot, tell me a joke. Robot, tell me a joke. Why did a robot cross the road? Because he was carbon bonded to the chicken. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, you're a yucker. Okay. Robot, stop. Hopefully he'll stop and center up. There he is. Okay. He just uh, put on a good show for you. Uh, let me show you. Robinson is not present, and my sensors detect no danger. Yeah, he's a little sensitive about that. Be quiet, Ninny. Okay, fine. Okay, now I'll be quiet, hopefully. Um, let me show you. I'll pull the power pack out. Just like on the show, he goes dead, dumps over, leans over, so he's, for all intent and purposes, dead, except for the easy B boards, which are running because uh, they have to make sure he comes back alive when I plug it in. Here's uh, just a little close up of the board. Those are all real parts in there. So, just a really nice work of art. And they get plugged right in, those, those jacks get plugged right into there, and he should come right back to life. Where am I? Who turned out the lights? Now I remember. Which way did they go? All right. Well, Robot, you're almost as uh, good as R2-D2. Robot, do you like R2-T2? Robot, do you like R2-D2? I guess he does. Robot, do you like R2-D2? Well, he's all choked up. Okay, um, again, he's, uh, he's coming along. I still got some work to do on him. Got some bugs to work out, as you can see. Um, he uh, also has a nice soil sampler, which uh, all these all these chest buttons work. By the way, um, they do different things. Uh, right now, I'm going to start his soil sampler. Vector circuits online. Active. And we got a soil sampler that comes out down there and runs. He samples it. Thank you very much. Okay, well, thanks for looking, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.